What up, you two? Big Lou and Big Luis Coach Review back again with another review, and today we're here to do a little review on the Delta Vape Scar. That's right, this is the Delta Vape Scar, and this is a mechanical tube mod straight from the homeland of Italy. That's right, a lot of people out there say I'm biased because I'm Italian, therefore, you know, Lou always praises Italian mechanical tube mods. Well, you know what? This is a straight up honest review on a really cool product, and this one's called the scar we're gonna go up close we're gonna do all that other shit we're gonna check out the mod up close and personal and everything but my personal opinion on this mod and how i feel about it it's got a really nice weight look how thick the two walls of this mechanical tube mod is the walls are very thick this is made of brass it is cerakoted it's heated in the oven for 140 degrees to five to six hours Really tough and durable serra coating on this. I like the looks. It looks like a silencer or a scope to a certain kind of rifle. You know, it's actually really, really nice. I really dig the vent, the venting, and the threads. Ooh, threads are just magical. The threads on here are just amazing. And you know what? The switch. It's a little different. They switched it up from the version 1 Delta Vape mod. So this is actually much better. It's a better version. There are some things they could work on to do better. My personal opinion is the contact in here. I think they use stainless steel by the magnet. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. But, you know, for me to see that, I'd probably want to see copper or brass or silver plated brass or silver plated copper. But we'll check that out in the up close portion. Other than that, really good mechanical tube mod today i'm firing it at 0.10 ohms not a very low build but still decently warm and decently hot uh, i wouldn't push this mechanical tube mod below 0.10 ohms simply because you can get a hot button with this mechanical tube mod if you're pushing it beyond the limits okay uh, you know this build i got it's 0 0.09 0 0.10 somewhere around there but I wouldn't go below that, really, because I have tried it and I did experience a slight hot button, and I think it's because the contact design that they have in here. If they switch up the contact to maybe something copper or something silver-plated, I think it'll alleviate that issue. Other than that, it's a really fucking nice mechanical tube mod. It's got some great weight. It's got a good feel to it. But enough of this intro. Let's dive up close. Let's check out this mod, and let's go from there. So here we go. We got our Delta Vape mod. This is another mod straight out of Italy. Um, you know, I really dig the Italian mechanical tube mods. I know it seems biased because I'm an Italian guy and I'm reviewing an Italian product, so it might seem like I'm biased, but I really do dig the Italian products that are circulating out there. I still love my H Stone mod. I still love my Geyser mod. These are all hard hitting mechanical tube mods, and Italy has this thing for releasing really incredible devices. So with that being said, let's check out the packaging on this mod. Uh, right up front, they give you the serial number up front, and then they give you their web address down at the bottom of the label. In the center, they got their SCAR design. This is their logo, which you'll find at the bottom of the mechanical tube mod on the button. And then you got the company name right here, Delta mods or delta vape mods uh, when you open this package you'll take the top cap off there'll be a little sponge here and then there'll be this little package of o-rings i'll show you where these o-rings go on a mechanical tube mod they go on the switch itself on the contact uh, by the switch and i'll tell you why they're there uh, inside if we remove the tube mod we're gonna remove the inner packaging Okay, inside you'll find they give you three cards. I'll show you what those three cards are now. One card you look at, it says Delta Vape Mods, just as well as all the other ones do as well. If we flip them, we got a certificate of authenticity. It says the mod name, which is the scar. It tells you the material, which is brass. Uh, the serial number, I have 014 slash B. I guess I have batch number B uh, or batch letter uh, B. I guess it's the second batch. And I have number 14 of the second batch. And the date that it was uh, put together was on September 6th, 2017. So I've had this mod since September 
Uh, also, they give you an authenticity card again, uh, letting you know where you can go to all their different web addresses and social medias. They have a Facebook, which is Delta Vape Mods. They have uh, a, 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 a they have a Facebook group called Delta Vape Mods Official Group. They have an Instagram, which is Delta Vape underscore mods. Um, they have a Gmail, Delta Vape at gmail.com. And then they have their web address at the bottom, Delta Vape Mods.com. And then they give you also a little, uh, kind of like a cautionary uh, card, letting you know that, you know, you shouldn't be using battery wraps that are ruined or torn. And you shouldn't be using uh, batteries that are not of high amp drainage. And also that only experienced mechanical mod users should be using this mechanical tube mod. Okay, now when looking at the packaging, we got these two sponges, which I like the sponges, it prevents the mod from getting scratched. And if we look at the mod up close, now, as you see, we have a brass button here that displays the name of the company, which is Delta Vape, and the name of the mod itself, which is called the SCAR, and then they list the serial number directly below their logo. I like the whole logo itself. It's got crosshairs on it because the mod is in the shape of a rifleman's scope. So it's actually really cool. You can see it's a very thick mechanical tube mod, and this is an 18650 mechanical tube mod. Now checking the height of this mechanical tube mod, you'll notice by looking at my caliper, it's measuring in at 89.5 millimeters in height. The diameter of the widest point of this mechanical tube mod is measuring in at 28 millimeters in diameter. And where the top deck of the mechanical tube mod, it's actually measuring in at 26 millimeters in diameter. Now, if we look at the threading on this mechanical tube mod, well, the threads are just pristine and perfect. Just very well done. They even give you an 18650 sleeve, just like their predecessor uh, mechanical tube mod, the signature Delta Vape uh, version one mod. But this is the scar and the threads on here are polished, clean and super, super smooth. I mean, if you want to put this back together, you take your top cap, you just let it sit on the top. You can go reverse if you want to find your threads and then go forward. And then once it's in, it's just so smooth. It's unbelievable. Beautifully well done. Very nice machinery. Uh, you know, decent tolerance. You still see a visible seam and you could actually feel that seam right there, but it's really no big deal. Uh, they have four holes for venting, one that goes directly through on this side and one that goes directly through on this side, which means you have four decently large holes for battery venting. 510 connection, the threading on it is very, very tight. So certain RDAs, when you, when you screw on certain RDAs on here, you may notice that there is some resistance because the threading is very tight on the threading. So if I take my Apocalypse RDA, I start to screw it in. Now you can see up close, this is a 24 millimeter RDA. This is the Apocalypse RDA and there's still some slight gap there. So the top portion where the RDA sits, I'm believing it's measuring in at 25 and a half millimeters in diameter, but it will taper out to this other size right here. Now just focusing at the tube mod itself, it's actually a very comfortable tube mod to hold in a hand and it is very short, even though it does measure in at that 84 millimeters in height, it, it's actually very comfortable to hold, use, and fire. Now, if we were to look at the switch area, uh, the best way to access the switch is by removing your top cap. Just remove your top cap, take a battery, negative side down towards the switch, and the on this switch itself, on the contact, there is a magnet on there. So you simply just take your battery that's adhered or stuck to the magnet and push it out, and it will reveal the switch. 
inner portion of the switch housing. This is all one tube. The way they machine this is solid naval brass and it's one tube. And it is nicely coated. They actually cook this at 140 degrees for five to six hours after they coat the mechanical tube mod. So it, it is a very long lasting coat. Looking at the contact up close, you'll notice that it, all, it is made of all naval brass and they have this spring on here which the spring is just mainly for the throw of the switch. But there's that O-ring. If in the event you lose that O-ring or it gets worn out, you could always replace it with the additional two O-rings that it comes with. And the spring is just basically held on by that O-ring. It's just there to hold the spring in place and also keep this uh, button in place as well. So on the inside of the mechanical tube mod, it's held in place with this O-ring. So when you're ready to get the button taken out, you simply just put your battery on the contact, which has a magnet in dead center, and it'll adhere to the battery. And then you just push your battery in, and it'll knock the button out. Now, one thing that uh, I like about this is actually you could adjust the contact height to adjust the throw on your button and this basically comes out. Now I'm guessing this contact is made of steel which I would have much rather have seen this contact made of copper or brass rather than steel because you can see that it is starting to slightly rust. So that is something I hope in the future that they change on this mechanical tube mod and give you the option of having a copper contact or silver plated brass or silver plated copper contact. I think that would be their best bet really. When you're ready to insert your contact back into your mechanical tube mod, just know and understand you have that O-ring that has to sit in a seat on the inside of the switch housing. So when you put this back together, just know that you have to push until you hear it snap, and then you know it's in place. Now, when you wanna use and abuse this mechanical tube mod, you simply just take the negative portion of your battery, drop it into your tube, and then take the um, black Delrin sleeve that comes with this to eliminate the battery rattle, and just take your top cap, drop it on, and you're good to go. I mean, the mod itself is beautiful, and I love the machine work on it, and I love the way it hits and feels and handles. And like I said, you could adjust the amount of throw in your button by raising or lowering your contact. So screwing on an RDA, remember you could always adjust the height of your RDA to sit on your mechanical tube mod based on the fact of how much throw you want in your button by raising or lowering the contact. Now with your contact screwed all the way in, you could push it a good amount before it starts to fire. I like having the shortest throw possible, so I'm gonna adjust that really quick right now. And you can do that just by simply turning your battery. So right here is the longest throw, right at the back of that three. But if I unscrew it, I'm just unscrewing the battery. See how much space I got there now? I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna screw it in and I'm gonna see. It just takes a little trial and error to feel your spot that you like the most. So I could unscrew it a little bit more. Okay, that's auto firing, so that's too much. Okay, if I wanna back it out just a little bit more. Let's see if it auto fires. No auto fire. See the throw? 
I could fire my mechanical tube mod just based on the height of my contact. If you want a longer throw, you could just screw in the contact all the way and you'll have a longer throw. So when you push the button, it'll go in up a bit and then it'll fire the device. I like a very short throw. Just barely touching a button and it's firing. And I really, really dig that. So I think that's cool. So you've seen the mechanical tube mod up close and personal, and now you know, first here, the SCAR. The SCAR is a pretty dope mechanical tube mod. I really do dig it. I do like the feel, the look, the comfort of use, the way it feels in my hand, just the way everything about it. It doesn't have a very stiff throw. That's, that's not what this mechanical tube mod is about. It's not about a stiff throw on it, but if you do want to change the height of your contact or the height of your throw, you just simply just, your battery is magnetized to the contact. So you can see it's being held up. It's a strong magnet. And if you want to minimize the amount of throw on it, just simply back out the battery and then uh, you'll have a much shorter throw. If you just simply adjust it, you'll be fine. You'll have a very short throw on your mechanical tube mod and you'll be happy. Other than that, I got nothing bad to say about it except maybe the contact needs a little work. Maybe on a version 1.5 or a 2.5, maybe they can do that, change up the contact a little bit. But other than that, it's a really good mechanical tube mod if you're firing it at 0.10 and above. And that's it. I'm enjoying it. I actually love this mod. So that's all I got to say. Peace.